to blow balloons on our birthdays. I also have a balloon with me, only it's slightly big. Let's see. So here is the balloon which I want to blow on my birthday. But the condition which has been given to me is that I need to blow the balloon in only one blow. So let's see if I'm successful in doing it. So I'm going to try with all my might and I'm going to blow into the balloon and see whether I'm successful or not. Oh my God, it seems I did not have any air in my lungs. The balloon seems to be completely deflated. Is there any way in which I can fill this balloon? Or is somebody playing a prank with me? Well, I'll try it some other way. I'm a physicist and I'm going to try a little bit of physics to blow the balloon. Earlier, to blow the balloon, I, I brought the mouth of the balloon right near my mouth and I blew it. This time, I'm going to keep the balloon a little away from my mouth and then blow it. Let's see the effect. Oh wow! This time I seem to be much more successful. Well, how did this magic happen? Or is it magic? Well, let us see what happened. Why is it that earlier I was so unsuccessful and now I have suddenly become so successful? When I blew the air from a certain distance, then the velocity of the air in this region when I blew it became large and according to the Bernoulli's theorem, the pressure in this region became lesser. So, the air from the surroundings, they also rushed inside the balloon along with the air which was coming from my lungs. So, the job was actually not done by me. It was done by the surrounding air and of course Bernoulli. The Bernoulli's principle was the one which allowed the balloon to become inflated with one blow. I'll do that once more for you so that you can also enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 